Today, let's discuss about the data centers for an IT infrastructure. Most IT infrastructures hardware expect for the end user devices. End user devices like all computers or PCs or laptops. Data center provide power supply, cooling, fire prevention, and equipment racks. We have a history that early uh, early data centers and computers room, also known as computer room, were built up for the large mainframe systems. They put together in the peripheral systems like punch cards, readers, and tape units. We have uh, standardized 19 uh, uh, decks. In today, today we have data centers that are equipped with cent uh, centralized 19 racks. They have servers, storage devices, and the network equipments. When repairs or upgrades are needed, entire containers are replaced, which is very, which is very difficult. Data center building blocks. Data center and building blocks. We have categories for uh, data center, sub equipment room, main equipment rooms. Sub equipment room is also known as badge, badge closet. Next is main, uh, which is the small data center in the in an organization or the buildings. Organization on data centers. Uh, organization on is the uh, central IT equipment for an organization with failover and fallback capabilities. Next we have multi tenant. Multi tenant. This uh, database category is only used for, by the service provider service providers that provide services for the multiple organizations, uh, or it uh, owned by the one department that uh, give uh, uh, that give uh, access or that, that give uh, services to the multiple organization uh, to the multiple departments. Data center location. Data center uh, must be located where uh, uh, these conditions are fulfilled. Environments of the data centers, vis uh, visibility of the data center, utility available to the data, data center, and data center located in foreign countries. Physical structure. Let's discuss the physical structure. It includes the floors, walls, windows. Next, we have data center layout. Uh, we can see that uh, there are some exits. For the data center, in layout in the case of emergency, power supply. Power supply for the data center, or a, it is the energy usage, uh, and it is the key issue for the data center. Power uh, is uh, data center is, is from kilowatt or from one rack servers in the small server room to the dozen megawatt for the large facilities. Kilowatt hour per uh, minutes we express the data center uh, power in, in kilowatt per minutes. A uh, normal value between is uh, is between two and six kilowatt per meter. In high density, we have ten to uh, twenty kilowatt per meter. Then UPS, UPS the several types of the power issues that occur in the utility power supply, which is blackout, surge, spike, or brownout, and waveform. These are the main uh, uh, these are the main damage that uh, occurs in the data center. So UPS provides a high quality electrical power that is independent of the utility power supply. UPS for the UPS installation, it consists of filters, a diesel power generator, and a set of batteries. UPS, there are three types of uh, battery powered UPS, which is standby UPS systems, line interactive, uh, and double conversion UPS systems. Cooling, cooling more than ninety percent of the of the all the power uh, used by the ID infrastructure components is converted into a heat. Is converted into heat for this purpose. We uh, have uh, to manage the cooling system. There are two types of cooling system that we that we uh, manage in our IT infrastructure. Um, yeah, IT infrastructure. Uh, there are computer room air conditioners and the computer room air handlers. Computer room air conditioners are the refrigerated uh, base unit uh, connected to the outside consider considering unit, and the computer room air handlers are the chilled water based and connected to the outside chillers. Next, we have cooling. Cooling is the main concern for the, our IT infrastructure, which is uh, uh, which uh, there are three metrics: EERR, EER is the energy efficiency ratio, then SEER, seasonal energy efficiency ratio, and then is coefficient of the performance. The coefficient of the performance. These are the uh, EER. This is the measure of the efficiency at the maximum air conditioning load. EER is the ratio between the power between the output output cooling in BTU uh, with time unit and uh, per hour and the electrical uh, energy input in the watts at the given operating point. Next SEER is exactly the same as EER but signal data is used for the for the measurement. Next COP is the coefficient of the performance. It is the ratio between the cooling uh, load in the kilowatt 
and the electrical energy input in kilowatt next is normal value between uh, is between 3 and 10 we have air flows where as we can see there is a air flow for the for our data centers that we have to manage there is a air flow between the racks upside, upside and down so that that is for today thank you